Drenching with the Drenching Water Boxing Association. And I'm going to start a series of videos to give a little bit of background on what water boxing is, the way I teach it, and the way I approach it. So, water boxing has three stages there's the solid stage or the ice stage, then there's the liquid or the water stage, and then there's the gas or the steam stage. I primarily teach the first stage, which is the solid stage. And the reason why I do that is because it deals with structure, and structure is arguably the most important facet of probably any art. So one of the questions I usually get when I'm demonstrating, for example, the foundational form, Juji, is why do we do things the way we do, especially in the beginning? So in the beginning of Juji, we do this. I usually get questions about why my palms are facing outward. Um, in probably every style of Tai Chi Chuan that I've seen, as well as also some water boxing practitioners, they have the palms facing toward them and they do this. There's nothing wrong with that. But let me explain really quickly why we do it this way. We do it this way because we like to use the structure of the forearms as if somebody was pressing here. So rather than a strike of some sort, which I've heard some Tai Chi Chuan practitioners say that this first move can be, um, we like to think of it more as a type of stand-up grappling. So here, when there's pressure applied on my forearms, I have an easier time structurally moving someone away from me than if my arms are this way. I have seen people who can move people away with their palms facing them, but if you have somebody press up against you with your palms out, you'll feel the force, you'll feel it in different areas of your body. And our approach is that with the palms out, it's easier to ward off that particular force. So now, with the help of a partner, I'm going to show uh, why we train with the palm out in the beginning movement as opposed to training with the palm down. So in a neutral stance, if she gives me some resistance here and my palms are toward me, it's hard for me to push without engaging my shoulder. And I have seen people who are able to, to resist and actually send people back a little uh, with the palms down, but uh, it's not very common at all. With the palms out, I feel less uh, stress on my shoulders and I feel more of her force on my back, which allows me to issue force a lot easier than if I were to palm down. It's much harder in our approach. It's kind of like carrying a box probably wouldn't carry a box this way but you might carry a box that way and by doing it this way you can load and unload much easier so that's why in water boxing in the beginning of juji we turn the palms out there's more to it than that and uh, as we go along in a series of videos i will uh, give a little more about the joints and everything um, please leave a comment if you have any thank you very much